Today, we delve into a rather alarming revelation involving Tesla's autopilot system. Former Tesla employee Lucas Krupski has come forward, asserting that the company's self-driving technology, powered by AI, may not be as safe as it seems. In a recent exclusive interview with the BBC, Lukas Krupski, a former Tesla employee, unveiled his apprehensions regarding the implementation of artificial intelligence in Tesla's autopilot service. Krupski's concerns bring to light a significant challenge faced by emerging autonomous driving technologies, particularly those developed by industry giants like Tesla. Despite the company's progressive strides in the electric vehicle sector, Krupski's revelations hint at potential pitfalls in the development and deployment of self-driving features. Krupski's unease stems from what he perceives as a lack of responsiveness within the company to his concerns. Despite making efforts to communicate the potential risks associated with Tesla's autopilot, Krupski claims that his warnings fell on deaf ears. This raises questions about the internal dynamics at Tesla, and the extent to which dissenting opinions are acknowledged or addressed within the organization. Lucas Krupski's reservations about Tesla's autopilot raise pertinent questions about the overall safety and efficacy of such semi-autonomous features. The expectations surrounding the term autopilot might mislead users to assuming a higher degree of autonomy than the system currently delivers. Krupski's concerns shed light on the potential dangers inherent on relying on technology that, while advanced, still necessitates human intervention and oversight. Krupski's emphasis on the broader impact of Tesla's autopilot adds a layer of societal consideration to the discourse. By characterizing users as unwitting participants in real-life experiments on public roads, he prompts reflection on the ethical implications of deploying evolving technologies in everyday settings. The analogy he draws, connecting the experiences of Tesla drivers to the safety of pedestrians, including children on footpaths, illustrates the interconnected nature of technological progress and public safety. This perspective brings attention to the fact that discussions about autonomous driving technologies extend beyond the confines of individual vehicle owners. The choices made by companies like Tesla have far-reaching consequences, influencing the safety and well-being of everyone sharing the road. Krupski's assertion invites contemplation on the responsibility that companies bear when producing and promoting technologies that, by their very nature, impact the wider community. The conspicuous absence of an official statement from Tesla in response to Lucas Krupski's allegations adds a layer of intrigue to the unfolding narrative. The company's silence on the matter raises questions about its communication strategy and how it navigates challenges to its reputation. The fact that the US Department of Justice has initiated an investigation into Tesla over claims related to its assisted driving features amplifies the gravity of the situation. This external scrutiny from a governmental agency brings an additional dimension to the controversy, highlighting the potential legal consequences that Tesla might face if the allegations are substantiated. In stark contrast to the company's official stance, Elon Musk, Tesla's enigmatic CEO, has constantly stood by the autopilot system. Musk's vocal endorsement, claiming that Tesla possesses the best real-world AI, reflects a firm belief in the technology's capabilities. The juxtaposition of Musk's confidence with the ongoing investigation and the former employee's concerns creates tensions that underscore the complexity of addressing the true safety and efficacy of Tesla's autopilot. Tesla's internal data, cited by Musk, indicates a relatively low frequency of crashes among autopilot users, with airbag deployments occurring approximately once every 5 million miles in 2022. However, these statistics are likely to be closely scrutinized in the context of Krupski's claims and the broader discourse surrounding the responsibility of companies in the rapidly evolving landscape of autonomous driving. As debates surrounding the safety of autonomous driving technologies intensify, Krupski's revelations add fuel to that ongoing discussion. With investigations underway, the question remains, are we truly ready to embrace the full potential of self-driving cars on our roads? Stay tuned for more updates in this developing story. Also, feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel.